13 Interesting Facts You Need to Know About Superman For decades, Superman has stood as the most iconic comic book superhero. People around the world recognize his signature, S, and it stands beside some of the most patriotic symbols America has. Superman has made his mark in comics by being a living embodiment of morality, truth, and justice. In this video, we will talk about 13 interesting facts you need to know about Superman. But before we start, make sure to hit the like button and if you are new here, subscribe for our upcoming videos. Number 13. Clark Kent as an All-American Alien. Kal-El began on the planet Krypton. He was born to Jor-El and Lara during a time of amazing distress on the planet. In most incarnations, Krypton was set to explode due to its unstable core, which leads Jor-El and Lara to send their baby off to another planet. With hopes of survival for their child as he speeds toward Earth, Krypton explodes, killing those on the planet. Once arriving on Earth, Kal-El crash lands on a farm in Smallville, Kansas. Jonathan and Martha Kent find young Kal-El and name him Clark Kent. Adopting the boy as their own, Jonathan and Martha raise Clark as if he was any young man growing up in Kansas. Number 12. Superman has had some wild powers. Most people know that Superman has some of the most extraordinary powers in all of comics, but besides his heat vision, super strength, arctic breath, super speed, x-ray vision, super hearing, and flight, the Man of Steel has some other insane capabilities as well. The most recent addition to his already huge array of powers is the explosive super flare. This occurs when Superman literally self-combusts and lets out the equal power and radiation of a nuclear bomb. Once released, he is completely human for 24 hours because his cells need at least a day to recharge the amount of radiation that allows him to have his powers in the first place. Number 11. The Man of Steel can be hurt. With a name like Superman and a nickname like the Man of Steel, one would expect Clark Kent to be practically invulnerable. For the most part, he is, however there are a few things that can bring him to his knees. As most will tell you, the green space rock, kryptonite, will weaken Superman and leave him vulnerable to attack. Many assume that this is his only weakness and the only way to take on the Man of Steel. Number 10. Superman has died? There have been a handful of times that the Man of Steel has crossed the edge of the abyss and actually died. As with many superheroes who have died over the years, Superman doesn't tend to stay that way for long. Obviously the most iconic Superman demise was during the 1992 series, The Death of Superman. Here we bear witness to our Man of Steel being brutally beaten to a pulp by the vicious Doomsday. After their intense and bloody battle, both drop dead. Number 9. Superman gave Batman a piece of kryptonite to be used if Superman ever got out of control. It's well known that Superman has entrusted Batman with a kryptonite ring, in case if he ever went rogue. He even believes that he's entrusting his life to Batman. While an Oxyanian of Krypton could give scientists a reason to actually call something, kryptonite, the gas is simply non-reactive with most other elements. It's radiation that makes Superman weak. If gamma rays were emitted by kryptonite, they would ionize Superman cells. Number 8. Superman's enemies. His arch enemy is a bald, hairless, evil genius named Lex Luthor. He has other deadly enemies too. Bizarro is another version of Superman. He comes from another dimension. Darkseid is a very powerful enemy. He is the ruler of the planet Apocalypse. Another enemy includes General Zod who comes from the same planet as Superman. Number 7. Superman without superpowers. Hard to imagine right? We've known Superman for his supernatural powers, such as flying two long distances. However, he was not always able to fly. Initially, he could just jump to long distances, that too because the Earth had lesser gravity than Krypton, just like astronauts can jump higher on Moon. Number 6. Superman caused a debate between Einstein and Asimov. Superman is presented as someone who can travel faster than light, which was indeed not appreciated by Einstein who believed that nothing could travel faster than light. Upon this, both these maestros had a debate with each other. Number 5. He made his girlfriend, Black, for one day. In the 70s, Lois Lane was given an assignment in Little Africa. However, people from that continent used to consider, white people, their enemies. To help Lois finish her assignment, Superman turned her black for a day. Number 4. His two fathers are responsible for his morality. Being raised by Pa Kent, young Clark learned many valuable lessons. 
Jonathan Kent, having been the small town farmer that he was, taught Clark the value of sticking up for the little man. He showed Clark that it was important to stand up for oneself and to work hard for what Clark wanted. Undoubtedly, Jonathan Kent gave Clark an ideal to strive towards by introducing him to the American way. Jor-El, only having met his son for a moment before sending him off into the universe, had high hopes for his son and the legacy of his people who young Cal will hold on his shoulders. Number 3. Superman was originally conceived as a villain. Ari Siegel and Joe Shuster, the creators of the character, had an idea for Superman while still attending high school in 1933. This concept involved a bald character who set out to dominate the globe. In this short story, written under Siegel's pen name Herbert S. Fine, the reign of the Superman, a homeless man named Bill Dunn is down on his luck. Dunn's luck changes when a chemist named Ernest Smalley offers him a meal and a suit to act as a guinea pig in an experiment. Dunn, eager to eat and get off of the streets, accepts the offer. He drinks a potion that grants him amazing telepathic abilities, but he is consumed by delusions of grandeur. He then kills Smalley and begins a reign of terror under the guise of Superman. Unfortunately for Dunn, the potion was only temporary, and seeing as he had killed Smalley, he was unable to recreate the formula. Dunn then becomes the same man he once was in the beginning of the tale. This was the only appearance of this version of the character because soon after, both Siegel and Shuster decided to recreate the character as a hero. Number 2. Clark didn't become a reporter for the salary. Most superheroes have a secret identity that throws people off of their trail. Superman on the other hand, chose his career very carefully. When deciding to be a journalist for the Daily Planet, Supes wanted a job that would keep him close to the world of crime and catastrophes in order to better serve his community and world. Being in this industry, he is able to have access to breaking news and can then have a reason to show up there. What some might not know is that Clark uses his journalism status to actually make real contributions to the paper. Even though Lois Lane is a Pulitzer Prize-winning journalist, Clark has tackled important issues as well. He has helped expose corruption and still help the little guy by not just physically keeping them safe, but protecting them from corporate greed. Number 1. Superman loves to help regular people. After growing up and living a life of extraordinary moral convictions, Superman has done a lot of good for the average person. Disregarding the obvious planetary disasters that Superman and the Justice League have averted, Superman has spent most of his career focusing on saving individuals and making a difference in the lives of people one at a time. One of the most recognizable times that Superman has made a difference in an individual's life was when he saved a girl named Regan. She suffered from depression and was struggling with the thought of suicide. Distraught and overcome with grief, she went to her therapist to help with the situation. Her doctor was late to the appointment, setting Regan off. She stands on the edge of a building, but before she could jump, Superman shows up and talks her down. He tells her, it's never as bad as it seems. You're stronger than you think. Trust me. Seeing a hero as strong as Supers use his words and compassion to solve a problem is a great way to showcase that his greatest ability is to use his morality to help those around him. Now that we've covered some of Superman's defining qualities, perhaps now you now understand the character a bit more. Regardless of the countless incarnations and interpretations surrounding Superman's history, he will continue to stand as a symbol of hope, truth, and justice. So, how is the list? Share your thoughts below in the comment section. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.